Hi all you cool cats, it's Mina, and we're back with Danganronpa, um, Killing Harmony, and so I thought at the top of the episode I'd talk about who my most likely suspects is. So I have two theories at the moment. Um, let's go with theory, theory number one is Shuichi is innocent. If Shuichi is innocent, then I have two, <laughs> two blackened choices um the the first one is um su sumugi and the reason why i thought of sumugi and it's good that we're outside of the dormitory is a couple of things one i thought that her ultimate power was was good enough that it could pull off a, a pretty interesting and complicated murder which this is complicated at this point number one when Shuichi answered the door, he acted really weird, and then he didn't seem to act himself outside either. I, he just felt off, like one step not Shuichi, I guess. And I don't know if that's just me, but I, 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 I felt weird about it. So, what I think might have happened, and let's run this scenario, let's say Shuichi was bumped into Samugi wherever and he was headed towards um he was headed towards Mew's ultimate lab Samugi was like all right now's my chance sneaks or breaks into his room somehow obtains his clothes and while obtaining his clothes uh I come in and knock on the door Samugi is like for some reason, Samugi answers the door. Maybe Samugi thought, I don't know, whatever. Samugi answers the door, reacts really off and weird, and then when we split off and I head towards wherever, like, that's all resolved. That's a really weak theory. That's the only, I don't know, that's weird. That's the only thing I can figure from there. The other thing is, is that Samugi was the only other person besides, um, Oh gosh, why am I always forgetting her name? It begins with an A. Angie, Angie. I always want to call her Alice, and it's Angie. Angie. <laughs> so, my only other two suspects would be her and Angie, because Angie doesn't have a, a alibi. The second Angie gives me an alibi, she's off the list, and the only person I guess is, is Samugi. And the only reason why I would think Samugi is potential is because the only other person I can think of outside of Samugi and and um Angie here are Shuichi and I don't want to blame Suichi so the only other person I can blame is Samugi and Samugi is lying about her cospox or something I don't know how she did that but she would have to have somehow lied I'm pretty sure that what's going to happen is I'm gonna go down to that trial and they're gonna start rattling off all the evidence that I've already figured out, put together, that they're gonna blame Shuichi for. And it's not him. I don't think it's him, so I don't wanna blame him for it, which leaves me only two possible culprits. And that's unless I'm missing some piece of evidence that's that's going to help me further. I, I haven't seen anything else to make anyone else look suspicious. The only other thing I noticed was in the picture that, um... <sighs> oh, that was the other thing. The reason why... Oh, 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 oh. So the reason why I even thought Samugi would be potentially guilty, and the only reason why I bring up the whole getting Shuichi's outfit or whatever, is that, like, in these... In these pictures, I'm sure something is about these pictures. Something. I don't know what. So the only thing I could figure at this moment is that all those shots of Shuichi messing with those cameras is, is not really Shuichi. It's somehow Samugi, and I don't know what Samugi was doing with those cameras, but something happened, and... She did it while dressed up as Shuichi. And... And that's why I think that the only way that they were manipulated is if... Like... The picture order was messed up. Like, 
like the way we went through all the photos, Shuichi was the last person on the photos, which means like maybe Monophony moved the first picture to the last spot on all of them, which is what what caused them to be different. The only and then, and then the last thing I can see is um for some reason Mew looks like she's been got the crap beat out of her for some reason. But I think she's just looking like her normal weird self. And that's it. That's it. That's all I have. I have nothing else. So unless this this doesn't explain a, a thing that I am I'm lost. <laughs> it's this red door, right? Hey. Uh Kaede, I have one more question. Hmm. Do you really think it's one of us? Not just the culprit. But the mastermind as well. Huh? Huh? Isn't that what you told me, Shuichi? Uh, okay. Yes, but... It's just... That was only my deduction. I don't know if I should trust that. Hmm. Well, I don't know if it's true either, but there, that's why we need to confirm it. If you just dismiss a possibility and look the other way without confirming anything, yeah. and you're just turning your back on the truth. What's the matter? What's the matter, Shuichi? You seem so sure of yourself during the investigation. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. Let's go. I'm sure they're waiting for us inside. <sighs> and as for why someone committed this murder, like, the reason why I have Shuichi possibly committing this murder was that he somehow was planning on killing the mastermind and ending the whole thing. And I don't know why, but he tried to make it look like it wasn't going to be a real murder, so that way Kaede wasn't upset. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't understand why. I, I, I don't know. And then the reason why it would have been Angie is maybe she wanted to kill everyone off so that way they could all go to a Tua? And if it's Samugi, I don't know. Samugi has to be, like, batshit crazy. It just, I just... Th th okay, that's it. That's the only... That's all I have. I'm out. I really am out this time. I don't have anything else. <sighs> what? So this is the Shrine of Judgment. Everyone! Careful, everyone! If bad things happen, get behind Gunta. Then give me a piggyback ride. Come on, carry me. Bitch. Oh my god, you're so fucking annoying. So are we doing the class trial here or what? No, it's gonna be something elaborate. I was thinking that the waterfall might just stop when I first saw this place. Because I knew this was gonna be where the trial grounds was gonna be. Back when we were invest investigating the first time around. Um, but that seems too si simple. It's gonna be like crazy. It's never, it's never gonna be simple. No. No. Monokuma made it sound like we'd be guided somewhere from here. That is troubling. But Monokuma is nowhere to be seen. What's going on? I look forward to several of you guys dying off so that way I don't have to do your voices anymore. I'm guessing this Monokuma statue does something. This Monokuma statue gives off such a weird vibe. Alright, there we go. Is it gonna fly out of the ground? Huh? What? what? Okay, this is way crazier than I thought it would be. Oh no! I was right! The waterfall was just going to stop. Oh. Still, that was amazing for Danganronpa standards. <laughs> is this an elevator? This is. Does he want us to board it? I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't do scary rides. I don't wanna get on it either. Hmm. Stay behind then. Though I'm sure that'll be worse for you in the end. I guess. Yeah, that's true. I know. If you desire. However, if everyone wishes to run away, I will cooperate as well. No. That's probably not a good idea. There's nowhere to run. 
as long as that end wall exists. Escape's not an option. Hey. It'll be fine. Let's all work together. Remember our promise? We're gonna escape this place and remain good friends afterwards. I'll get us out of here. So let's do it. I'm sure we'll be all right. Mm -hmm. Because we make such an incredible team. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to call myself a man if I was still scared after hearing a girl say that. Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars. Bring it! I'll show them how I, Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars, live. <laughs> Don't you mean die? Dumbass. Don't say something all ominous like that. I'm ready! Yeah, we come this so far already, we just gotta do it, so let's do it! Okay. We have no choice. We can't turn back now. Determined, we all stepped forward. Even as we walked toward the elevator, I was shaking with anxious dread. But I kept going. Because I decided to fight. And then, everyone had boarded the elevator. The picture of the elevator scenes in Danganronpa were always interesting because you could- you would always see like the way characters were positioned. Oh, that's super cool. It's actually an elevator. And I used to try to guess who would be the killer based on where they were standing in the elevator. If I had to pick who I would want to survive, I would want Angie, Shuichi, Gonta, um, Kibo, Kaito's a good, good one too. And I'm sad Rantaro died because he would have been another person I would want to survive. And then I, I hate, I hate or have like a lack of a feeling towards the other ones. And since I know some people have to die in order for this to be a killing game. <laughs> That's that's how I want it. Oh, and of course Kaede. Like, of course. Even so, this elevator is going pretty far down. <laughs> We're falling. I wonder how far we will plummet. You're creepy. Uh, I suddenly have to go to the bathroom real bad. By all means, go ahead. Of course. A robot wouldn't understand how inappropriate that is. As we waited to reach our destination, I whispered to Shuichi. Um, Shuichi? About that talk from before. What? I think everyone is afraid of learning the truth. But the people who are willing to find the truth are the ones who can decide their fate. If you never know the lies from the truth, then you can't choose a path. You won't even know you're on a path. So, fight for the truth. Even if it is frightening. I know you can do this. If you're scared, borrow the strength of others who will be there to help you. Think of everyone you're helping, and let that be your strength. I used to be like you. Before a piano concert, I was always so nervous that I thought I would vomit. But then I would remember all the people I've made smile with my performances. Kaede. All right, let's go. It's better to end bad stuff like this as soon as possible. Those words were mainly for me. To inspire me so I would not turn back. After some time, the elevator finally came to a halt. The door slowly opened to reveal what awaited us on the other side. Why, hello there! Welcome to the class trial! Yay! Oh boy, the class trial is finally starting! Finally a game that actually feels like a game! Bingo! Just as the prophecy foretold! Got it? Listen up, from here on things are gonna get so violent you wish you could turn back! That's not true. There won't be any gory or violent scenes. I'm positive. This is... This is an authentic replica of a courtroom. <laughs> what bad taste. jeez. Oh, Why are you making us do this? Is this fun for you? Psycho pop! Of course! Putting strangers in life or death scenarios as the best entertainment. You're the worst of the worst. You're seriously the worst. 
<laughs> Worst or not, those who have fun are the real winners in this world. It doesn't matter what terrible things you do or done to you as long as you're having fun. Oh, I see. Wow, this is so sickening, it's almost refreshing. So how do we get this game going? Well now. There are podiums over there. Please stand behind the one with your name on it. Following Monokuma's instructions, we headed to our respective podiums. Oh, I love this song, you guys. <laughs> I, I don't know why, but it always puts me in like, um... With, how, do, how do I even put it? It's like, it's such an inspiring sounding song. It's like, hope. <laughs> As I walked toward my podium, an image of his body flashed in my mind. Rantaro. He died without knowing his own ultimate talent. No. He was murdered by some horrible low-life scumbag. I'll never forgive his killer. That's why. We're going to expose the mastermind and end this killing game. That's all I can do for Rantaro now. Oh god, I hope it's not Shuichi. That will make her so upset! It will make me upset too. It's not going to be Shuichi though, because I know it's not. It's called Faith. His killer is in this room with us. The mastermind who's controlling Monokuma and forcing us to play this killing game. I don't think I'll ever be fully prepared to find out who that person is. But we have to find out who it is so we can lift our suspicions of each other. so we can end this killing game. That's why I'm here. I can't show any fear here. I must fight till the bitter end. Who will face this life or death class trial? I guess this is how I'm gonna do it. No one wanted to believe it was real, but Rantaro was killed just before the time limit. Now Kaede and Shuichi must take on the class trial. Let's go. <laughs> now then, let's begin with the basic explanation of the class trial. During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is, and vote for who done it. Vote correctly, and only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will graduate from this academy. Also, Refusing to vote will result in your death, so you better vote for someone. Now let's get this crazy awesome, crazy awesome trial underway! So, it's starting, huh? <laughs> oh man, I haven't been in a trial in like, forever. <laughs> what? Oh, so you have experience with trials? Yeah, since I'm a leader of evil and stuff, <laughs> I've done a lot of bad things. Whatever. <laughs> so, what are we supposed to do? Where do we even start? Gonta never done trial before. Not sure where to begin. First, let's breathe in and breathe out. We need to remember our no, no, no's. No pushing, no running, no talking. But communication is the foundation of any discussion. We should not worry about our procedure, especially since this is not a normal trial. Each of us will be serving as a potential culprit, lawyer, prosecutor, and jury member. Let us proceed with that in mind, shall we? Then might I offer the first topic? Don't fucking get ahead of us! You trying to start some shit? C calm down. How about we listen first? Atua has spoken. 
Kavatsky says it is vital that we hear everyone's testimony. I'm a good listener because my ears are clean. Once, I clean them so hard, they bled. Ugh! I'll begin the conversation then. There's something I found curious. Why, I wonder, didn't the culprit take advantage of the first blood perk? That is extremely what makes me curious, because with my three suspects in mind, I would like to know. I thought that was strange, too. I bet they just wanted to do a class trial real bad. That's ridiculous. Then Monokuma's the culprit, the doi. Because this whole class trial was his idea. Oh, that's true. That was the other thing I had thought. Well, that was the first thing I thought immediately was that Monokuma was setting this up to get rid of, like... <laughs> was trying to get rid of Rantaro and, and Kaede in one fell swoop, which would be incredibly well done. I just noticed what she's wearing. What? Oh, yeah! Easy peasy! I'm a fucking genius! Wait, is it even possible for Monokuma to be the culprit? Of course not! I would never do anything to you guys directly. Directly? Even if you can't, it's a different story for the person controlling you, right? Hmm? Is it possible that the mastermind controlling Monokuma killed Rantaro? Mastermind? Was that? I don't know any mastermind. You've never heard of them. Don't play dumb with me. Who's the mastermind controlling you guys? The mastermind, huh? Atar. It's one of us. It's Keyblade over here. Everyone else thinks so too. No. Does everyone really think that? No. We'll get to the bottom of this. Before we determine the mastermind, we must uncover the culprit. Then, we could start by determining the sequence of events? Let's take a closer look at the circumstances of Rantaro's death. Gonta agrees with Shuichi. After all, Shuichi is ultimate detective. Then let us start by reviewing the incident. Alright, let's do this. We can find the mastermind if we work together. When this class trial is over, we'll know exactly who the mastermind is. And now the class trial has begun. As things progress during each class trial, non-stop debates will occur. Oh, I didn't mean to click that button. It's up to you to unearth any lies or contradictions in their statements. You'll have to use the truth bullets together to refute what they say. Any relevant truth bullets you found during the investigation will be loaded into the truth cylinder. Use the L to aim the reticle and fire with triangle. Aim for the gold words displayed in their statements. Those are weak spots. There's a chance the lies or contradictions are hiding within those weak spots. But remember, you might not be able to refute them all, so you have to use the right truth bullet. Compare everyone's statements to the truth bullets you have. And shoot your truth bullets at the proper weak spot. Note that if you run out of time, you will automatically fail, so be careful. Oh, I almost forgot. The new element. During the trial, you can concentrate to make time slow down. This will also reveal a small red dot within weak spots called the V-point. If you hit that with the correct truth bullet, you'll get an awesome V-counter. Bullseye! V-counters are really improve your score and the number of mana coins you earn, so try that out. During non-stop debate, options will bring up the controls. Okay. Give them a look. I guess I can use that to pause as well. Alright. Monokuma file one, moving bookcase, Rantaro's belongings. Body was found. Just before the time limit, right? He was killed in the library. Yes, I agree with that. Rantaro was alone in the library. The culprit could have snuck up on him. What was he even doing in the library anyway? He was opening that moving bookcase for one reason. Because he knew about the hidden door. That means Rantaro was masterminding this whole thing. Okay, Rantaro's belongings. There's definitely a contradiction in one of those statements. If 
I present the right evidence, I can blow away that contradiction. That means red oh, yes. No, that's wrong. Wait a minute. I don't think Rantaro was the mastermind. Huh? Why? Didn't we go over this already? Because Rantaro didn't have the card key to open the hidden door. Or maybe just me and Shuichi went over this. You'd think the mastermind would have that card key on him, right? Perhaps the culprit took the card key after killing Rantaro. But none of the pictures show Rantaro holding the card key. So I don't really think he had the key at all. Also, if the mastermind had died there, this killing game would have already ended. You are correct. The possibility of him being the mastermind is quite low. Then how Rantaro know about Hidden Door? Maybe he stumbled across it in the library. You know, like how Shuichi did? Or maybe the mastermind told him about it. What? Why would the mastermind tell him that? Oh, I see where you're going with this. The mastermind told him about that and then set up that killing trap for him. So you were around Toro to the library and kill him. Yeah, that's a good point. Does that mean the culprit and the mastermind are one and the same? That does seem plausible. It's very likely the Mastermind knew about Kaede and Shuichi's trap. The Mastermind knew about our trap this whole time? This case may have become the perfect crime thanks to your hidden cameras. The Mastermind knew about your trap and exploited it to commit their crime. So after the Mastermind lured Rantaro and murdered his ass, they used Kai Idiot and Puichi's hidden cameras to arrange the perfect crime. Did they really take advantage of our trap, though? Is this really the perfect crime? Are we in an unsolvable mystery? I guess this is a dead end. I'm doing my best to focus on the characters that I find the most suspicious to see if they're doing anything that, that will affirm my, uh, my suspicions. Wait, don't give up that easily. We already know the culprit is the mastermind. We gotta work together to find the mastermind. Then we can end this killing game. You yap about teamwork and all that, but you still think one of us is the mastermind. Yes, and I know that's a horrible thought. But that's why I want to end all the terrible things happening to us. I'll defeat the mastermind and end this dumb killing game. I'll... I'll even use this class trial to do that! Kaede... <laughs> wow, looks like you're determined to face even a cold hard truth. Then here it comes! The cold hard truth! Huh? I already figured out who killed Rantara. He's gonna what? accuse Shuichi, right? Why are you surprised? Because if he's right! would make this the fastest class trial to date! It would! <laughs> How fast was the previous record, anyway? Real fast, let me tell you. He was like... the win! Oh yeah! I guess now he's won with the win! Yeah! I think about him this time of year, too! The way he soared through the enemy fleet all badass! Just to die like a little pup! <laughs> what? Shut it, you weirdos! This is an important conversation! Kokichi, are you serious about knowing who the culprit is? Yep. So, we all agree that the culprit knew about Kaede and Shuichi's trap, right? No shit! That's why they're not in any of the pictures. So who is it? So whoever knew about the hidden cameras is the culprit. So who the hell is it? It's you! What? Oh, he's gonna blame Mew? <laughs> no, it's not Mew. God, how I wish it was, but it won't be. You made the cameras used for the trap, right? Obviously, whoever made the cameras knew about the blind spots. 
before breakfast was the only time someone would be able to sneak by. What, what the hell brought this on all of a sudden? I, I just designed the cameras. I didn't know they'd get set up in the library. If someone asked me to make cameras, I'd totally ask what they were for. How come you never asked what the cameras were for, huh? Huh? I, I, I pulled an all-nighter making them and afterward just sort of passed out. You're getting awfully worked up. Look at you. You're sweating. E even though this is a better line of logic than what I thought they were going to do, <laughs> just because I like bullying her, uh, she's not the killer. I'm always wet. I'm just feeling extra sensitive. Like these big boobs of mine. For someone so aggressive, you're kind of a wimp, huh, you? Come on! Pull me up the hook already. D do you want money? Is that it? Your pathetic excuses are consistent with those of a common male criminal. Everyone's starting to spe suspect Mew, but... Is that really okay? No. No, we don't want to die because of this. Especially not for her. Um, Alright, from here on out, blue-colored weak spots will appear. If we call the weak spots you've seen up until now argue points, then the blue-colored weak points can be called agree points. Yeah, yeah, I know. You need to shoot the agree points with truth bullets to flip your way you're thinking. Instead of arguing that the other person's testimony contains a lie or a mistake, please fire at truth bullets that prove the other testimony as correct. When your truth bullets merge with their statement, they will complement each other, resulting in a consent. From now on, you must infer whether it's best to argue or agree based on what's being debated. You can also V consent if you're confident. Give that a shot. Thank you for your time. Respectfully, system. <laughs> Alright. Bookcase, card reader, Karikios can't Why keep us count. Why did already? You're the culprit, aren't you, Mew? I think Karikios account... No way! That's not possible! ...is going to prove so that she was... She had an library? alibi. Not like it matters. Because I never went to the library, okay? Oh, shoot! Would have known their blind spots, too. Yeah, well, I didn't make the cameras either. Used to shake it up, she's starting to dig herself deeper with her own lies. I need to take her side. Rushing to judgment will only make things worse. Why don't you just admit? Hey. Right, Kyo? Of course she didn't. Mio was in the dining hall during the murder. I saw her there while dining on what I thought would be my last supper. <laughs> the pasta on the menu tastes like a lonely old lady eating her grandkids' birthday cake. Don't feel bad for her. She got to eat her tasty grandkid on his birthday. That's too sad to make sense. That's pops for you. So there you have it. Muse alibi. And slug? Why didn't you say so earlier? Good job, Kaede. Guess I shouldn't have judged you by your lackluster rack. What Gilgamesh level condescension? But which Grey War are you from? <laughs> wow, another reference we don't get. You must be a hardcore loser. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sometimes my hobbies just sort of slip in. Hey, don't be acting all cocky, Kokichi. You put my ass in the hot seat earlier. How about you just keep your fucking mouth shut, you lying little abortion? Jesus. What? That was really uncalled for. I only said that to find the culprit. <laughs> I feel a lot better now. Cool your chats, kid. Samugi and Kirumi were both in the dining hall as well. We can dismiss those four as potential culprits if they were together the entire time. No, not the entire time. 
At one point, Samogi went to the restroom. Oh, so you brought that up after all. It's true. I went to the restroom closest to the dining hall. Oh? Did I hear that right? The restroom, you say? Excellent! I was waiting for this moment. I'm getting so excited right now! Ew! Why? Did you take a firm dump? Or was it a soft one? Uh. Why are you assuming she was dropping a deuce in there? But I really did just go to the restroom, not the basement, you know? Also, I don't think I was there long enough to be suspicious, right? You're the ultimate cosplayer, though. You could have just disguised yourself as someone else while you were out. Disguised? No, no. I, I don't do disguises. I don't think that's possible, and I know the reason why. The reason why Smokey couldn't have been disguised is cospox. But I don't believe that. I well, get it. I guess Smokey can only cosplay as fictional characters. I just. I feel like that might be a lie somehow. That's what cosplay is supposed to be in the first place. Lately, some people prefer to cosplay as non-fictional characters, which is unforgivable. It's so unforgivable that I break out in cospox if I even attempt it. Yeah, the cospox was pretty gross. I see. If that's the case, then there's no way you could have been in disguise. Sorry about that, Samugi. I just thought it was something to check. Oh no, it's fine. I'm not bothered by it at all. Aww, Samugi is so nice. She's way better than you. Well, fuck you too. Getting back on topic, we now have alibis for the people in the dining hall. So we know that Kirumi, Samugi, Miu, and Kyo can't be the cult. Congratulations to the four of you. You can all leave now. Huh? Can they? No, stick around. So what about the swines who went to the basement? They're all suspicious, right? Which of us went to the basement? Well, when Shuichi and I were on lookout, we saw... Kaito, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Himiko, Angie, and Rantara. So, seven people in total. So the culprit is among those seven? <laughs> but of course! Why are you laughing? That includes you too! Excluding Rantaro, one of the six people who headed to the basement. Is the mastermind of this killing game? Well, we... I don't know. I don't... <sighs> None of them seem mastermindy, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> Person is making us endure all these terrible things. Why not torture the truth out of them? It would be the quickest method. Wait, please! No torture! My tolerance for pain is actually really, really low. <laughs> I'll tell you everything! Anything! Just please don't hurt me! Please just tell us what happened. If the culprit is among that group, then wouldn't Maki be the most suspicious? Just look at her. She can definitely kill someone. Being so stupid. The culprit could easily be anyone, like Kaito. What are you talking about? There's no way I'm the culprit! Yeah, it's not him either. Who's the culprit? Who? <sighs> Everyone who went down there besides Angie has, like, an alibi. Gonta is gentleman. Gentlemen not hurt people. It's not me either. Murder sounds like way too much work. I have an alibi. Oh, <gasps> tell me! Who's the culprit for fuck's sake? We need to calm down. If everyone talks all at once, then we can't discuss anything. It's all right, Kaede. We just need to listen to everyone's statements. You can do this, right? Listen to everyone's statements? That's right, I can pick out everyone's voices as they talk over each other. I only left because I was invited. Why don't you ask the shady guy who invited me? What? You mean me? But I just said it wasn't me! Don't rush the blame onto me! 
You degenerate males and your thrusting! Ugh. I'm not a bad girl, really. If you don't believe me, ask my mom. Me! I have an alibi! I am also not the culprit, too. Oh no, three people are talking at once. Everyone is clamoring to prove their innocence. There, There's a panic in the courtroom. <laughs> oh, that's right. It's time. You will now be thrown into a mass panic debate. During a mass panic debate, three debates will happen at the same time. But remain calm. This is just like a non-stop debate. You're just hearing triple the uh, opinions. Simple, right? Aim the conversation you really want to hear and concentrate to listen more clearly. Sort through everyone's opinions and find the liar contradiction and refute it. You can also use V counters, so if you're confident, give that a shot. Oh, okay. Sorry to take up your time. Thanks for being a sport about it. Alright, Angie, start talking to me. Wasn't Anchis? All the different voices are confusing me. But Kaito's statement was suspicious, right? We fine as long as I stay calm and listen for everyone's unique voice. Maki's account? Oh my god. <laughs> Wait a minute, Kaito. Wasn't there someone else who disappeared other than Rantaro? But before we move on past that Kaede, uh, did you guys see that lame excuse? Atua was watching her and that's her alibi? I hope she has a better alibi than that. That idiot already forgot. Gonta also left during the strategy meeting. Yeah, he locked himself up in the AV room and... Hey, wait a sec! Idiot! <laughs> Is that right, Gonta? Y yes Gonta watched Bug Movie to fill Gonta with fight, so Gonta can fight Monokuma! Were you trying to imagine yourself as a huge mantis with swords for hands? <laughs> oh, come on! How is looking at Bug supposed to put you in a fighting mood? A ah, terrible idea! Like putting ketchup on a hot dog! How about you tell him how much you hate Bugs and we'll see how that goes. <laughs> but why did you lock the door? Cause Gonta need focus. Gonta, that's such a lame excuse. You're gonna have to give a better one than that. What's the real reason? There has to be a real reason. Everyone suspect Gonta. Why? Because it's li look, you're not guilty. I know you're not guilty, but you have to like provide like a, a good reason. Just saying you need to focus. That's a terrible, terrible thing to say. I know you're innocent though. Gonta just need alibi? Okay, Gonta will get alibi. Just tell Gonta where to find it. The way this debate is going, this will be difficult to refute. <laughs> what will you do without an alibi? We'll all choose you. And we'd all be wrong. Gonta, please understand that in order to reveal the truth, you must also participate. But Gonta not sure where to start. You just have to tell everyone why you couldn't have done it. If you're not the culprit and we all vote for you, then we're dead too. Our lives are riding on your word. You got this. Okay, Gonta will try. For everyone's sake. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> hey, I like her more than you. This debate is getting loud and heated, but if I just focus on everyone's voice, then hopefully we can expose the mastermind. Right. It's gonna be the sliding door. Cause to leave A B room, Gonta must walk through game room where friends are to even reach hallway. If you can't get to the hallway, you can't go to the library. A B room's got more than one entrance, though. There should have been a door facing the hallway too. The sliding door across from the rear entrance, correct? With that sliding door. Wait. You can quickly go in and out of the library. Then he got past the camera somehow and killed Rantaro. Well, that's settled. Let's go home. Is not settled? Gonta, not culprit! Okay. Could Gonta have gone to the library from the AV room without anybody noticing? I wasn't sure if that spot was actually the one I needed to pick. There we go. It's not possible to use the sliding door. You saying I'm wrong? You got a lot of ass to be contradicting me. Did you mean to say sass? I am. Um, think you left out an S. <laughs> the sliding door always jams. You're only able to open it a crack. The only part of your body that will be able to go through is your arm. And there was no indication of the door being forced. There was dust on the track. In other words, the chance they came out the sliding door is zero. Uh, I see. So, I made a mistake. How rare. It's not that rare for you to make a mistake. Your entire existence is a mistake. <laughs> I know he's terrible, but... <laughs> If Gonta couldn't use the sliding door, then in order to get to the library... He'd have to go through the game room. But I didn't see him at all. See? Gonta tell you he not culprit. No, we cannot confirm that just yet. Huh? My apologies, Gonta. I do not mean to put you on the spot like this, but... Because I promise to do my best, I will fulfill that responsibility. She's going to point out how, like, he could have, like, chucked that, uh, that shot put ball through that gap and <laughs> hit Rantaro in the back of the head because the doors are right across from each other. That is impossible because we saw the sliding door close while, um... While we, uh, when we entered, meaning, meaning that he couldn't have thrown it and hit Rantaro's head. Which is why it had to have dropped from above him. Which I already know. <laughs> Are you saying Gonta could still be the culprit? There is the possibility that Gonta killed Rantaro from the AV room. From the AV room? How? Oh, uh -huh. I didn't know that was a possibility. Not only could he have killed Rantaro from the AV room, but also... He would not appear in any of the pictures from the cameras placed in the library. Whoa! Perfect! But wait, then how did Gota kill him? Well, huh, it's obvious to this glamorous girl genius. That may be explained for these dimwits. First, I will explain the layouts of both the AV room and the library. The sliding door in the AV room faces the rear door of the library. Because of this, it is possible for Gonta to have killed Rantara while he was in the AV room. Um, but how though? In order for the murder to take place, the rear door of the library must be opened. Oh, wait a sec. Isn't that impossible? 
The AV room's sliding door doesn't open, so you can't get into the hallway. If you cannot enter the hallway, how would you open the rear door to the library? Although you cannot fit your whole body through the sliding door, an arm would suffice. It would be possible if you used a particular item in the AV room. A particular item in the AV room. Uh, this one? What if you somehow connected the posters to make a pole that would reach the door? That would be wide and long enough, but it would not be durable enough. There's a far superior alternative in that room, though. I see. I was thinking along those lines, but Karumi has a point. Kaede, do you remember what caught our attention during the investigation? Everyone's staring at me. Well, they all think less of me now. Uh. I get it. Oh, it's that. Is it the projector screen? That is correct. You can make a long pole if you roll up the screen. It would be possible to reach the library door with it. You use the rolled up screen to reach the library's room. Oh. Then you can open it. Look, look, that's exactly where that, um, that ball dropped on his head. But, uh, so, I'm guessing this whole door thing is a red herring. It has nothing to do with the actual murder. Because I've been wondering, like, there's so many things, like, so many little things about this trial that I, I feel like I'm missing stuff. The screen itself is quite heavy, but that would not have been a problem for Gonto. Yeah, no problem for Gonto. Oh my, how honest. Actually, the camera wouldn't be triggered just by opening the door. Shuichi and Kaede's pictures were like that as well. The shutter only went off when someone set foot into the room. Okay, so it was possible to open the library door, but where does that get us? Gonta still couldn't have gotten from the AV room to the library. Gonta did not enter the library. He killed Rantaro when he was still in the AV room. If Gonta killed Rantaro in the library while he was still in the AV room, then... So does that mean Gonta threw the shot put ball? Wait! Wait, I say! Why would anyone do something so crazy like throw a... Wait! That's actually not crazy at all! Throwing a shot put ball is totally normal! <laughs> The act of throwing a shot put ball could lead one to use it as a weapon. Even if a person couldn't fit through the space, a shot put ball certainly would. Rentaro's body was across from the AV room sliding door as well. As long as the rear door of the library was open, he would have been able to hit the victim. It's quite the distance, though. And that shot put ball was pretty heavy. I'm... <sighs> I'm not saying anything here because it's so obviously wrong that I there's nothing really to say. <laughs> Did you forget already? Gonta easily picked up the heavy manhole cover. It would definitely be feasible for him to throw a shot at ball at his target. Yep, a walking talking Roomba can't compare to a mighty beast like Gonta. That Roomba remark is probably not about me, as I have a variety of custodial functions. Well, Gonta, can you throw a shot put ball from that distance? Yes, probably. You're too honest, Gonta. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cool, Gonta. You could be the ultimate shot putter. Huh, I've heard enough. Gonta's the culprit. 
Wait, Gonta never hurt anyone, not even insect. I don't think you would ever hurt an insect. Gonta telling truth. Gentlemen never tell lies. Well, there you have it. What do you guys think? I would like to believe him, but without evidence, we cannot. If everyone is wrong, we'll never find the mastermind. I can't let that happen. I need to do my best to guide everyone to the right answer. So we agree, Gonta's the culprit. Moving bookcase. Honest. Typical degenerate male excuse. Rentaro's corpse in the AV room door. Do line up with one another. There are no obstacles. There we go. It would have been impossible for Gonta to have thrown that shot from the AV room. Because there was an obstacle between Rentaro and Gonta. The moving bookcase. When Rantaro was killed, it should have been open. Yup, that's our evidence. The bookcase door was open when he was killed. Uh... Uh... Oh! It's gonna be the... Hidden door photos? I get it. Yeah. It's in this picture. Here, look. These two pictures were taken by the camera facing the moving bookcase. These photos were taken moments before Rantaro was killed. The bookcase door is completely open here, and then it closes automatically. So by the time we entered the library, the door had already closed itself. Before Rantaro was killed, the bookcase door was open. Even if Gonta did throw the shot, it would have hit the bookcase instead. I see. Well, that pretty much shuts the book on that theory, then. If that's true, then there's no possibility that Gonta is the culprit. What? Why are you making this so complicated? Just be the culprit already. Sorry. I don't think you need to apologize. Yeah, that's right. A man shouldn't apologize so easily. <laughs> I should be the one to apologize. I am sorry for accusing you, Gonta. No, it's all right. You weren't... You didn't enter in the room, so... You kind of came in later. No, going to understand, because we got to find culprit. Oh, what a good sport. Well said. For a degenerate male, you're actually pretty reasonable. Will you stop calling them that? Ugh, I hate this sentimental crap. Why is that? It's nice when everyone gets along like this. Are you stupid or something? I can't stand people having a good time. Now he's too evil to feel ashamed for being evil. We could learn a lot from him. Don't mind me. I'm not actually taking notes. I'm placing bets on racehorses. I'm Jones of Relief. I need a raccoon tail to chase my dragon. I have no idea what that meant. It's good that Gont is in the clear, but don't break out the confetti just yet. We're out of suspects now. On top of that, we still don't even know how Rantaro died. So we only know what the weapon is? 
How are we supposed to find the mastermind with that? We know the murder weapon is the shot put ball. But where did the culprit get it? I think it was from the warehouse. I saw track and field equipment there. Then anyone would have been able to obtain it. We need more information. What's wrong, Shuichi? Huh? Uh, uh, it's nothing. Hey, culprit! Quit hiding! Just be a man and fess up already! We don't even know if they're a guy or not, though, right? Or if they're even human. Are you referring to me? Don't worry, you guys. We're one step closer to the truth, so don't give up! Try to remember what happened. We can find more clues left by the Mastermind. Clues? What kind of clues? Like... If Rantaro was deceived by the Mastermind and went to the library, maybe somebody saw Rantaro having a suspicious conversation with someone. It would be a good idea to figure out who knew about our trap. Either way, anything you guys remember might be able to help with the case. Yes, yes! But... Are you sure the culprit is also the Mastermind? Huh? Yeah, I think so. Why? Then, what Atua just told me about how the culprit entered the library is correct! Huh? I didn't hear anything. Ah, oh, that's right. Only I can hear the voice of Atua. <sighs> then I will speak on Atua's behalf, as his prophet. If the culprit is the mastermind, they could have entered the library while avoiding the cameras. What? Are you serious? There's a way to do that? Super mm. serious, brother. Number two sounds like a shady weirdo. A way for the culprit to enter the library without being caught by the cameras. Oh, she's gonna suggest the vent. Is that really possible? Those who were alone at the time of the incident. The only ones who didn't go to the dining hall or basement hall. Kokichi and Kibo and Ryoma, right? I knew the culprit was a male! Yahaha! Behold Atua's divine logic! I've never had to debate a god before. I can tell there's a contradiction, but I don't. But I don't. I don't think Angie's noticed yet it yet. The culprit was hiding in the library the whole time. Before Kaede and Shuichi even placed the cameras. Where would they have hidden? Inside the hidden door. No, that's wrong. Wait a minute, Angie. I don't think it was possible to hide in the hidden door. What? You dare challenge Atua? I don't think the hidden door was ever used. Huh? The dust is still there. It looks like the card reader wasn't used. That means the mastermind didn't hide here. While investigating the mastermind, I placed dust on the card reader. If anyone swiped their card key, the dust would have fallen. We already confirmed during the investigation that there was no dust on the floor. The bookcase hadn't been opened, so I doubt anyone was hiding in there. The fog is lifted. Okay. <laughs> you still got a ways to go. Huh? W what do you mean? The culprit could have been in the library before the cameras were even set. We won't be able to prove anything if we can reasoning like that. 
It seems you've been contradicted. But when this sort of thing happens, you'll go into a one-on-one -on -one debate called a rebuttal showdown. What's a rebuttal showdown? For now, let's explain the controls. In this mode, you counter the other person's claim and argue against it. Move your truth blade with the L and align it with your opponent's claims. Perform a regular cut in the direction the blade is pointing by pressing X. Cut with a truth blade by pressing triangle. Oh sorry, I forgot to tell you. In this mode, truth bullets will be called truth blades. Use regular cuts on your opponent's words, but when a weak spot appears, slash it with the truth blade strike. Of course, you don't have the correct if you don't have the correct truth blade, you will not be able to cut the opponent's remark. What's neat is, if you cut through multiple words at once, you get a time bonus. Two at once gets you two seconds. Three is three. The more you cut down, the better. Watch the position of your opponent's claim closely and slice as many as you can. By doing that, you can skew the debate's mood to your advantage. When the mood of the, uh, your, when the, mood of the argument is in your favor, the debate will progress. On the other hand, if you ignore the other person's remarks, it will skew toward their advantage. And then you'll have to deal with a loss of progress. If you and your opponent arguments are even, a blade lock will occur. When that happens, you have to mash X as fast as you can to push them off. Isn't slicing and dicing options with a truth sword the bee's knees? What? Not really? Well, you shouldn't knock it before you try it. You can also be agree, so if blah blah blah... Thanks for your time! Alright. Even if we rule out the hidden door, the library's got no shortage of hiding spots. There's piles of books all over. Since the culprit was there before the things were put, they could have been hiding there, you know. They took out Rantaro, then took off. But if the culprit killed him and ran away, wouldn't they have been caught on camera? Not if they went back into hiding. Right after killing Rantaro. Then, once everyone's gathered around the body, all they gotta do is act like they just ran in. Rejoin everyone and we'd be none the wiser. Where? How? Rejoin everyone and we'd be none the wiser. I'll cut your words! Oh, the front! The culprit met him inside the library? That doesn't seem possible, though. Let's hear it, then. What's your reason? If you take a look at the three pictures from the camera we placed near the front door... This is when Shuichi and I met up with Kaito and Tenko, and then rushed in. This one shows the other four people running in after they heard Tenko scream. And finally, everyone else coming in after hearing the body discovery announcement. You can clearly see everyone entering the library in these pictures. It wouldn't make sense if there was someone hiding in the library the whole time. Well, that does cover everyone now, doesn't it? I guess the one who still has a ways to go is me. I thought that was so obvious I didn't even need to point it out. <laughs> Sorry, I I, I I was confused. Don't worry about it. It's better to think about each possibility anyway. Right, Shuichi? Hmm? Ah, um, yes. What's wrong with Shuichi? Is Shuichi okay? He's been really quiet. Is he worried about something? So the real question is how the culprit entered and exited the library. We cannot continue until we address that problem first. It's quite the mystery. How did the killer avoid being caught by the cameras? Almost like they were invisible. Oh, but it wasn't me. My magic can only make you half invisible. Your upper half should be specific. That's kind of a half-baked invisibility spell, isn't it? 
but both doors to library had hidden cameras on them. How about the vent in the library? Maybe they came in through there. But Shuichi and I were on lookout in the classroom with the connecting vent. The culprit waited until Kaede and Shuichi weren't looking, then turned invisible. That is the stupidest argument ever. <laughs> No, there's no way someone snuck into the library through the vent. That's right. You have evidence that proves that would have been impossible. Uh, <laughs> stacked books. I get it. Yeah. When I set the cameras, I also stacked some books in front of the vent. If someone did crawl in and out from the vent, the books would have collapsed. While we were investigating, they were still neatly stacked the way I placed them. Maybe they put the books back when they left the room. That would be quite difficult to achieve on such a narrow bookcase. If we've ruled out the vent and doors, then how'd the culprits get in and out of the library? Maybe... Divine intervention? Gonta no can think of any other way to enter. Eureka! I know how the culprit got in the library! The front door! Um, have you been paying attention? The camera would have taken their picture. Not if the culprit timed their movements around the camera intervals! Huh? Intervals? What is that? Basically, the culprit knew about the cameras and their intervals. So they snuck into the library between camera shots to avoid appearing in the photos. <laughs> I know, I know. Beauty and brains. Why? It's just not fair. Neil, what's this interval you're talking about? Huh? Oh, now you're asking me. After the shutter snaps, the camera can't take a new photo for 30 seconds. Oh, okay. So I thought I thought that was obvious because she said that it would take 30 seconds, like after you set the camera for for it to um, start taking pictures. I figured that it was gonna also have the same requirement that it would take another 30 seconds to take another photo. Because I redesigned the cameras to auto roll the film instead of having to do it manually. That's the first time I'm hearing about this. Why didn't you tell us from the start? Oh, but I, I told your little beta boy toy after I gave you the remodeled cameras. What? Boy toy? Sh Shuichi? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I guess I forgot to tell you. How could you forget to tell me? I didn't think it would affect the plan. I, I didn't realize it would matter. I guess I just forgot to mention it. I'm really sorry. It's okay. You're not guilty. <laughs> I forgot. What a pitiful excuse. Yeah, that's pretty much a lie. N no, it's not a lie. He probably just forgot. There was so much going on at the time. It's only natural to forget, you know? Yeah. Let's put that aside for now and talk about the camera intervals. Each interval lasted for 30 seconds, correct, Mew? Yeah, sure. I'll explain it again to you mushheads. The three cameras that Kaidiot and Fuichi place go off when they pick up movement. From there, it takes 30 seconds for the film to auto-roll to the next photo. So, for 30 seconds, Anyone could have entered the library without their photo being taken? That may have been enough time to kill Rantaro and exit the library. It's definitely enough time! You just gotta move at lightning speed! I see, I see! Then there's no doubt the culprit made use of the camera's intervals! No... That means the culprit was Mew all along, since she knew about the intervals! No... I have an alibi. Remember the dining hall? Oh, yeah. Well, 
Who else knew about the intervals? Hmm. Now, who was it again? Uh, that look. I've noticed that she has, like, some sort of weird reaction to, like, Shuichi, like, this really dark expression. I don't understand why, though. Well, then, does this mean that he is the culprit we've been seeking? No! Shuichi. No! Hey, what gives, Shuichi? Shuichi would never do that. Right, Shuichi? That's right. You would better speak soon. Your silence only damns you further. Mess up already! Did you kill Rantaro? Hey, Shuichi. What's got in here? Don't tell me you're gonna plead the fifth now. <laughs> oh man, this is getting good! Entertain me, peasants! N no way! Shuichi can't be the culprit! That's definitely wrong! There's no way! I refuse to believe Shuichi is the culprit. That's definitely not possible. I agree. There's no way. Ah, the intermission's right now? 